Hey kids, this is Chef Jack. We're still celebrating Jack Kirby's 100th birthday this month. And despite all the nastiness and the politics that are going on on Twitter and over at Marvel and everywhere seemingly, I still think that every once in a while we just need to stop and have a little fun with the comics. With that in mind, I put together this list. It is my pick for the top 10 Jack Kirby character designs. Number 10, Thin Fang Foom. Uh, Jack Kirby did a lot of art for various and sundry monster books, and he created a lot of fantastic creatures. But in the end, I think the one that really had staying power, and the one that was one of the most interesting designs, was uh, his version of the Chinese dragon, Fin Fang Foom. Um, faced off against Iron Man, was a tool of the Mandarin. I think we saw him in early Fantastic Four as well. Uh, the character is just neat. I mean, look at him. He's got the antenna, and he's got fins and he's got you know those hands and a face that is just off enough to be monstrous but at the same time it's recognizable this is a great character design number nine the silver surfer the the silver surfer is the epitome of minimalist character design i mean let's face it, it at its core this is a guy who's been chrome finished and he's riding on a surfboard there's no costume here. There's, I mean, he doesn't even have hair. He doesn't even, you know, his eyes are the same color as the rest of his body. But it doesn't matter. Look at him. He's perfect for, for the character concept. Uh, it, it's just beautiful. And the fact that his surfboard isn't really a surfboard. It's just the way he travels. It's, it's a board upon which he travels. It just looks like a surfboard. You know, it's, it's just perfect. This is... You know, you don't have to, it just says you don't have to be fancy all the time to get the message across. Number eight, the Demon Etrigan. This character is a bit more uh, complex than the, the two we've already seen on this list. Um, certainly more complex than the Silver Surfer, but it still gets the message across. This is not a human being. This is not a superhero. This is a demon. I mean, sure, he doesn't look like the old classic uh, uh, demons that we would see in the early 60s when this character was created. He looks like something new. You know, the yellow skin instead of red skin. He doesn't have a barbed tail. His horns are, you know, kind of small. But I, you gotta love the fact that he doesn't have pupils in his eyes. They're all one color. And those fans that he has for ears. And the fact that his claws don't come out as fingernails but, are, but look like spikes that come out of the middle of his fingers. And I gotta tell you, those little jester booties are just too cute for words. Number seven, hell. I know that at, at first glance, you, you look at this and you're going, but what's so great about this? It's, it's just green on green. It looks like superhero tights. It's just the same old thing. But then look at it, though. Look at it. Uh, this is a very complex costume. It's multiple different shades of the same color, which is hard to pull off in, in comic books without looking lazy. And this doesn't look lazy. You know, it's the straps and it's the plates and then there's that crown. I mean, that crown is epic. I gotta tell you, when I when I saw the very first uh, trailer for Thor Ragnarok and I saw Kate Blanchett wearing that headdress, I just about had a geek gasm because I was like, well, hell yes, they've got her in the headdress. Why? Because that is fantastic Kirby character design. That is the thing that we come to uh, expect from him. Um, all told, this is a great character. I mean, look, this character says, I'm about to throw down and you are not ready for me. It really. Number six, Arnim Zola. Uh, this is the, the first of the really weird characters on the list. He's not the only uh, weird character Kirby ever created or even the most weird character, but he's certainly effective. And what I like about Arnim Zola is this is... A statement as to what this character is all about. You know, Arnim Zola is a Nazi super scientist who, when he started dying of old age and cancer, made himself a body and put himself into it. This is a, an android body that has his his consciousness and his mind uploaded to it. So why should it look human? Why should it? The face in the middle is Zola's face being shown on a on a computer screen. It, what else does he need? Why does he need a head? It's it's just great, and it's 
it, it just it is typical Kirby and it is uh, it, it's perfect for the character. Number five, Mr. Miracle. Mr. Miracle's costume is designed to be eye-catching. It's designed to bring you in and say, hey, look at this guy. Because remember, Mr. Miracle is a showman. Sure, he's a hero. He's a superhero. But primarily, he's a performer. He's the guy that says, hey, look at me. And look at his costume. That's exactly what it's there for. Um, it's a classic uh, Kirby costume, too. Uh, you know, the cape and the little circles everywhere and the, the contrasting colors. Um, but what I, you know, the, 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 what you got to really love about it is how precise this design is. Um, it, it is literally, it, it draws you in and says, this is a character you need to watch. And, uh, and you've got to love the fact that he's got that two and a half foot tall uh, uh, collar. You don't see that very often. I mean, who else has a collar like that? Doctor Strange, right? Anybody else? No. It's a great character design. Number four, Modok. This is another one of Kirby's weirder character designs, but it uh, is also one of the ones that works. And I know that in the last couple of decades, it's been uh, kind of fashionable to laugh at Modok. I mean, yeah, oh my God, he's got a huge head. He looks so goofy. He's stuck in a chair. He's, he's got little Tyrannosaur arms. But then you think about his character concept. This is a guy with amazing mental... He's smarter than just about anybody else, and he's got mental powers. Why does he have the chair? He has the chair because otherwise he can't move around because his head is five times as big as the rest of his body. Why is his head as five times as, as big as the rest of his body? Because his brain is so big. That's the entire point of the character. This is a wonderful, I mean, my God, this is a scary, wonderful character design. And it gets the message across. This is a mental character. This is a guy you're going to have to uh, outthink, and you're not going to be able to because he's smarter than you are. Number three, Dark Side. Aside from the Silver Surfer, Dark Side might be the perfect example of minimalist character design being so damn effective. I mean, look at him. It's that rocky jaw and the tunic, and that's it. That's the character. Um, from what Kirby himself said, he always based the facial appearance of Darkseid on actor Jack Palance, which I can see. Um, but everything else was just sheer intimidation. It, I, I don't know how Kirby did it. I don't know how the, the subsequent artists do it. But you just make the man intimidating, and he intimidates. Uh, you don't need flashy. You don't need fancy costumes. All you need is that jaw and that broad shoulder and that gravelly voice. Number two, Galactus. Let's face it, guys. Any costume that makes lavender and blue look intimidating has got to, to have something to say for it. But on top of it, I'll look at it. It's a complex uh, costume. It's got panels. It's got stripes. It's got that G in the middle. Why does, he, why does Galactus have a G? I don't know. I don't know. I've always wondered that. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, the huge helmet with the big fins, the, the gloves, the it's just, it fits together. And it says, this guy's a badass and he's going to stomp on you. And there's nothing you can do about it. So you might as well just get ready for a stomping. Um, it's... Now, and we've found out in subsequent books that this is not what he really looks like. He doesn't really look like anything we can comprehend. This is just what our mind makes him look like, which is kind of cool because it says weird things about the human species. Anyway, this is just a fun design on top of everything else. It's fun. And like I said, it uses a color combination that we don't normally see. And my number one pick for the greatest Jack Kirby character design, Captain America. How do you design a costume for a guy who's supposed to epitomize the United States and everything that it stands for? There it is, guys, and goddamn straight. White stripes, blue fields, white stars, and that shield. That, that perfect shield. It's just, it's just amazing. You would know who this guy represented even if he didn't have the big A on his, on his forehead. You would. You could tell immediately that this is a guy who fought for the red, white, and blue. Well, obviously, he's wearing it. He's wearing the flag on his costume. This is where the, the, the word flag suit came from, guys. This is where it came from. There's no better example of it in the history of comics. 
and it was all Jack Kirby. And that's why this is my number one uh, Kirby character design, because this perfectly got the message across. This is Captain America. He fights for the United States of America. He's going to put you down because you stand in opposition of everything that that stands for. And that's why Nick Spencer needs to get throat punched. So there it is, folks. My picks for the top 10 Jack Kirby character designs. But what did you think? Did you agree with me? Did you disagree with me? Did you disagree with me about only part of it? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you would think would be the number one or the number eight for that matter. Uh, give me your entire list if you want. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit like, hit share, click that little notification button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Uh, if you haven't already, you know, subscribe. We're worth dis uh, subscribing to, I think. We've got a Patreon page and a Vidme page if you want to hop over and drop a dollar in the till to help this train keep rolling and help the lights on. Uh, but even if you don't, we want to thank you for your time, thank you for your interest, and thank you very, very much for watching.